Right you guys, got another video here for you on how to roll back a driver on Windows operating system. Now if you've got an issue with the driver that you've got running on that system, you can roll back to an older version. Now sometimes when Windows doesn't update or it updates your drivers, if you let Windows control it, it can sometimes cause an issue. So if you do have an issue with some sort of driver that Windows is updated and you had a stable one previously and you want to roll back to it, I'll show you how you can do that in this video. So first off, what we want to do is go down to the start button, right click and go device manager. Inside here, you're going to see a bunch of drivers and uh, you can roll these back. So I'm going to be choosing the display adapter driver and roll this back. Now I'm going to go right click and go properties and then go to driver tab. And inside here, you should see rollback driver. Now, if you don't see rollback driver, it means you don't have an option to roll that driver back. When I click on rollback driver, you can see here, it gives me a bunch of information on uh, what is available to me and I'll need to give them uh, a reason why I'm rolling back. So for instance, you can see my apps don't work with this driver. Previous versions of this driver performed a lot better. Previous versions of this driver seem more reliable. Previous versions of this driver had more features for another reason and you can leave it in the tell us about uh, that issue in the box below and you just have to basically type something in here. Now I know that there's only a Windows uh, standard default driver on this system so when I roll back I will have to update again but I'm just going to give you an idea of how you roll back drivers and this could be a network driver or audio driver or whatever it is that you're rolling back. So I've rolled that driver back and you can now see that we've got Microsoft Basic Display Driver, which is no good for gaming or anything like that. It's just used for this uh, tutorial, so I can just show you how to roll back. So if you look here now, we've got this Microsoft Basic Display Adapter, which is no good for me. So what I'm going to do is just quickly update it again, because I've got no issues with the NVIDIA driver that was on the system. I just wanted to show you how you can roll back a driver. So let's update the driver and do a search online, it should go out there and get the very latest driver and then install that onto my system. Now, if you've got a bunch of drivers that you've been downloading and you haven't formatted the system, you can roll back uh, to uh, a driver that was more stable to you. Now, normally I disable all the uh, driver updates for Microsoft. I like to choose to install my own drivers at the manufacturer's website and get their driver packs there and install those because I find I have less problems with those rather than letting Microsoft decide uh, what to update on my system. But that's just me. It's entirely up to you how you go ahead and do your uh, PC, but that's how I set mine up. So let's just go ahead and install in uh, the display driver here. Just give it a few more seconds and let that update. And you'll be able to see uh, basically it's gone back to a standard Nvidia driver. Now again, this can resolve a lot of problems, uh, especially if Windows forces an update of a driver onto you and you had a really stable audio driver working at that particular time and it then rolls out a driver that's buggy and you've now got an issue with your audio, you can always roll back. So that's basically how you're going to uh, do that uh, task there. There you go. We're all fully back updated uh, to the NVIDIA driver. That's basically how you can roll back. My name has been uh, Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some use to you. I shall see you again for another video again tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.